Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun comparison video between Kubuntu 21.10 on the left and Garuda Linux on the right. So grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. So getting into it, uh, having a look at uh, Kubuntu in fact, let's load up some of the terminal specs here. So as you may know, Kubuntu is based off Ubuntu, uh, which is in turn based off Debian, whereas Garuda Linux or Garuda Linux is uh, in fact based off Arc Linux a very um, thriving, eager community there. Now, uh, these are actually both uh, operating systems are running, you wouldn't believe it, but are running on the same uh, desktop environment there. So we're using uh, Kasma, uh, KDE Plasma right there, uh, almost the exact same version in as well. So if we load things up, we'll have a little bit of a look. I'm really digging uh, what Garuda Linux is doing here. They're making uh, the, these nice, cool accents and tones for the, the, the coloring, and it's a little bit Matrix-esque, if you will, but hey. But otherwise, we're dealing with the same applications, the same basic menu. Just, uh, I've got to say, it looks much, much cooler there. Now, uh, let's see, next up, let's have a little bit of a look now. Oh, now, first of all, Kubuntu, as you might guess, is a point release, comes out or upgrades every six months. Uh, probably the benefit to some for uh, Garuda Linux is the fact that it is a, a rolling release. So you don't have to you know, upgrade once every six months, just updates every day. And uh, we'll see some information about that very, very shortly. Now, uh, let's have a look at, say, the file manager. Let's see if uh, that really gives us any kicks. So, ugh, now I'm really enjoying the coloring, except for on the file manager here, it doesn't look that great. I would very much expect it to be the, uh, the Dolphin file manager there, if we load that up. About Dolphin, yep, yep, all good. Let's see if we can find the same for this little fella here as well. Version 21, version 21. It's just got its own uh, theme into it, really, and it's kind of harder to see what I'm looking at. Uh, so that's a bit of a shame. You can technically say it's all color-coded. Downloads are in green. For all those illegal downloads, hopefully you're not doing, but hey. Now uh, let's move across to uh, something I'm really curiously interested in is the kernel. So on uh, the Kubuntu, for instance, we're running the 5.13 kernel. It's good, it's not great. It's one of the later and greater ones. Whereas on the uh, Garuda Linux side of things, we're running the 5.15 kernel now. That is really cool in my opinion. I don't think I know of another operating system right now today that is running on uh, that late of a kernel. Most are a little bit behind. I know we're on the release candidate version of maybe 16 or 17 for the kernels or, or the betas, but Wow, that's really good. So if you've got later hardware, uh, be it a CPU, Wi-Fi car, GPU, list goes on, then you might be looking to go with uh, Garuda Linux in this case here. But hey, just uh, something to mention there. Now, last but not least, let's have a little bit of a quick look at the CPU and RAM usage. Okay, so uh, CPU, nothing to really write home about there. Uh, we have the, the RAM though, so this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Now Kubuntu, well, actually first thing I'll say is uh, that, that there's nothing really loaded in the background for either operating system. I like to be as fair as possible, except for, you know, save the operating system itself. But we have about 550, 575 megabits, megabytes of RAM on boot up for Kubuntu, which is pretty good. It used to be not that well optimized. It used to be about, oh, about a gig or more. So I'm very happy to see that. Now, Garuda on the right-hand side, like I say, it's good, but it's not great. 816 megabytes of RAM on boot up. And you can really tell it's a lot smoother here, the Kubuntu, whereas Garuda is just like kind of a little bit slow. These are virtual machines. They have been assigned two CPUs each and four gigabytes of RAM, which should be absolutely more than enough. But if you want in something quick and fast, at least out of these two, you'd probably go Kubuntu. So that's pretty much it guys, just a super short and sweet video comparing some of the basics of these two operating systems. Thanks for watching, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one!